Hello guys, welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be going over and testing SMS brand color shift paints. I'm not sure if these are all of them, but I do have uh, quite a few here. And um, we're going to go over them right now. Um, these four are separated because these are the ones I'm going to do on camera. The others I'll do off camera for time. But these represent kind of close to the same colors overall. But uh, they have a few different names. And I'll show you what I mean right now. They have Color Shift, Color Shift Extreme, and Chameleon. All right. So let's go over them right now. Color Shift Alien, Color Shift Lava. Great names. Color Shift Extreme Black Hole. Let's see. Can we see what it is? There it is. It's royal blue, purple, and orange. Oh, I can see the orange around the edge. Chameleon, mauve, purple, and orange. Very nice. Chameleon, green, white, and purple. Chameleon, orange, yellow. Color Shift Extreme Hyperspace. Color Shift Extreme Abyss. Let's see what that is. Deep Purple, Smoke on the Water, uh, Blue, Orange, and Gold. Well, I could certainly see the orange and the purple there. Color Shift Extreme Eclipse. Let's see what that is. Red, Orange, and Black. And Color Shift Extreme Supernova. We're looking at gold, green, and magenta. You can see some of them are similar tones, so that's why I chose to, you know, we'll see how four of them go on. I'm going to spray them over gloss black. And that, if you read the back on all of them, no matter which one we use here, it says put over a gloss black base. Now you can use all clads, which I love. For this, I happen to use, let me show you guys. Uh, to me, a spray can. To me, is our acrylic lacquers. Oops, sorry, guys. And uh, these happen to be acrylic lacquers also. All right. And I'm going to try it over a dark gray. I'm, the darker, the better. And for the dark gray primer, I've been using this actual regular spray paint from Tamiya, Gunship Gray 2. I have a light and a dark gray. I wanted to test how they work because these are very, very smooth. You know, when you don't need to fill or sand, but you just want to see it over different colors, I like to use these. I also sprayed a Gumpla piece. I'll do a, two or three of these. We'll see how it looks on a piece. And then maybe I'll try and match the colors, meaning, um, say this black hole. See, it's a dark purple. I'll spray it over this purple here. And this is uh, Evangelion. Dark Purple 13. This is from uh, Gaia Notes uh, Lacquer Line for Evangelion. Uh, I have the whole set of those. So I figured we put some purple down and see how that looks over that. Maybe we'll look up some reds and we'll put this over that just to see what they end up with. Um, I'm on a quest here, I think, just like Chrome, to test all the color shifts. Uh, coming up will be these craft paint color shifts. These are from either Walmart or Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Pretty nice, huh? So these are like four bucks, three bucks. A lot of times you get a coupon for twenty percent off. You get these pretty cheap, and you're doubling down on this. So these are four ounces, because you got to fifty-fifty thin these. So uh, I think I got six of these colors. So we'll look at those pretty soon too. I also have these color change blue, color change red. These are Mission Model Paints acrylics. Let's see if we can see the can't really see the changing here. Oh, I can see it right here in the reflection, but these really have to be laid down to really see. It looks like they're just white paint in the bottle, but um, I tested these a few months ago, and uh, I thought they were pretty good. So we will be doing that. Um, splash paints I haven't tested yet. Hologram. Uh, this is a chameleon color. Ultra chameleon. 
Red, yellow, brown. Look at that. That's nice, huh? And Torch Chameleon. Apply over black, of course. This is red, yellow, and green. So very close in color. Really close. Almost hard to see on camera. That's why I hesitate on testing some of these. Uh, I got these. These are brand new. I haven't even tested the paint line yet. This is Custom Service with a K. These are the iridescent line. This is blue to turquoise. Nice shine to that. These are all acrylics. This is... It's like the other ones. This is uh, pearlescent turquoise, but can you see it? It's a white pearl with the green highlights. Very nice. And this is, again, is the iridescent purple to magenta. I guess I can see some of the pigment has settled there. So we will be trying these along with the rest of this lineup. We'll be testing that pretty soon. I already tested. If you want to watch my video on my uh, Mecha Empire Air Force colors, these are ready to spray lacquers in my lineup. And this is a red green pearl. Oh, you can see up there. There's the red, there's the green. And uh, get a good amount in here. And these are ready to go. This is a blue green pearl. You can see the pigment has settled. And all of my paints have a uh, bearing in them. You can hear it. Look at that. That should be that's nice. I think uh, if you guys head over to my video, if you want to see what these look like, I did show them in the video. Orange pearl clear. Look at that. So these are kind of color shifts. This here is the uh, just so you guys get an idea. I want to show you what we're talking about here. Here's the color change blue from Mission. That's what it looks like sprayed on. See it? So that ends up like that. Not that awesome. All right, and these are long gone, so I haven't tested them. I feel bad testing a product that's not out there. But I had a local hobby shop that had a lot of Model Masters still in stock, so I bought everything I could. These are their flip colors. They call them flip. Uh, Blue Clear Flip Flop. You can see it. And this is their Purple Clear Flip Flop. Look at that. I thought these were nice. There's a few more of these I haven't been able to find, but... Too bad they're gone. I'm hopefully somebody brings them back. Now, I did these. This is Vallejo or Vallejo's, uh, the shifters, the color shift sets. There's three sets, and there's one that has all of them, all three sets combined. Um, I tested these. I'll put a link below for this test, too, along with my Mecha Empire one. Um, I have another one coming in. I hopefully will have it tomorrow. So I'm going to do this one also within a week. It's another set. It might be Galaxy Dust. And uh, they're much lighter colors. Uh, they have three sets. Two are very similar, so I didn't get that. But the other set is all lighter colors like this across the board. So we will try that. These are acrylics in the dropper bottles. And uh, I actually really do like these. I, I'm, I really was impressed with, with this lineup. So that's why I got another box of these coming in. Um, but for now, we will be testing just these SMS uh, like I said, we're going to spray four of these on camera. We'll bring these forward, but I will show all of them at the end. Uh, we might have to use the spray booth light. It's a new setup with a new lighting for photography and uh, one of those umbrellas that's above. I showed it once in the videos not too long ago. Um, that is the best place I can get these color shifts to show. Um, under these lights, I can't get it to work. Sunlight, it works good, and I've taken some photographs before. But uh, it, it's going to be tricky. But I notice if I turn the spoons way down and, and at the spray booth, you can cut. You can see the color shift. And um, I'll show you others that I had trouble with too, as far as showing them off. And that's these color shifts from Dispay. See them? Now, while they weren't very heavily in the color shifting area of things they were absolutely beautiful and sprayed beautiful so if you're looking for a deep metallic even for a car uh, these were just beautiful paints now I'll look at them again we'll compare them under the other lighting so we're gonna see how the other lighting is with these but as far as just the metallic paint went even without the color flip and shift uh, they were really nice like I could see the gold here but you guys probably can't see it I think we'll be able to see it under the new lighting that I got. But these were beautiful, beautiful color shift paints. Um, not a dramatic shift, 
but see how I'm tipping it and you can see the brown here and not here see so some show up really well I put a dull coat over this to see how it would affect it and it didn't it looks great and these are turbo dork I did a whole set of turbo dorks where were they it's turbo dork so there is a lot of color shifts out there I've yet to test their metallics which is coming soon and here are the Vallejos Vallejos right here again I will show these under the other lighting but uh, these really went on nice they dried perfect for an acrylic specialty paint they really came out good so we'll look at these over at the booth at the end so I just want to show you how many different things are out there and how many have actually tested but, all right guys that's it we're gonna head over to the booth I just want to show you something I just got this in today from Hong Kong or Korea I've been looking for this particular P Bandai kit the load astray really nice mega design it's tough to get uh, designs that are really exclusive just to the box. They're usually just color changes from certain kits. This this Lotus Stray is a rare kit to start with, so to find it here was really terrific. But look at this. Oh, wow. This is... <laughs> it was wrapped up really well, and the box was still crushed at one end. So much for my P Bandai and the $20 to ship the damn thing. Look at this. Oh, man. Um, not damaged inside, which I'm lucky, but that that's not good. That ain't good. All right, guys. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get over to the bench. Uh, for this test, I'm going to be using... I'm grabbing the airbrushes now. I'm going to be using my Hotter and Steinbeck Evolution. This thing is perfect for these paints. This is a .4 millimeter needle you usually want they want you to go a point three but this one really atomizes the paint well this is a point three this is my ps270 uh... gsi creos this is mr hobby brush with the mac valve um, came with a point two and i ordered the point three needle and it's really easy to change the needle and um, we'll use maybe we'll do two with this and then two with the harder and Steinbeck to show you uh, different airbrushes but um, that's what we're going to be using for the test I'm going to spray about 15 to 20 PSI. Keep it on the low end because you're just going to dust it over. It's just like spraying chrome. And um, and that's it. And speaking of chrome, check this out. This is a spray can of all-clad chrome for Lexan. This is for the flexible remote control bodies, RC car bodies. So I wanted to try it just over plastic. And you know what? Not bad. And uh, durable because it's made to be flexed. So it works. It works over just regular black plastic. So uh, I think we'll do that in a separate video, a nice quick video, so you guys get to see the process there. And uh, we'll try it both ways, too. And um, stick to the end. I have an announcement to make. I believe uh, some of you out there are going to like what you're going to hear. And, uh, but for now, let's head over to the booth and test these beautiful color shifts out. Alright guys, here we are at the Pace Spray Booth. We're going to start with Color Shift Lava. Uh, I do like to shake this up just as you put it into the airbrush cup. And uh, for that, we're going to take... I got it in my spoon here. See it? My little ball bearing here. Drop her in. And uh, you can hold her either way. That's an industrial strength shake up there. And there it is, thoroughly shaken up. Look at that. Now I'll do what mo <laughs> the rest of these off camera, as that's a little now loud and obnoxious. That's because of the steel base of the booth. All right. So what you want to do is keep it shaking to the last minute. All right. You're going to open her up because it's steel. I'll take this off. Because it's steel, my magnetic airbrush holder comes in real handy. All right, let's start over. We're going to shake this up again. It's pretty well shaken up, but I just like to stir it up, get all the pigment going. And you want to put in your eyedropper way at the bottom. See that? And there we go. That hopefully should be enough to do a couple of our spoons. Let's put that out there. 
All right, let's get this back over here. All right, on that uh, looks like 18 PSI. We're going to start off with the hotter. Oh, let's put that in the camera shot there. The hotter in Steinbeck. Let's go with our painted. That one's got a scratch on it. There we go. Our painted spoon. Always start off with the black, as that's the basis of all of this. And little blast. Get the dust off, and here we go. Oh, this one covers really good already. Can you see it? Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Now, I like to get it to a shiny coat, just like when I'm painting anything. So, after I coat it, as you see it here, we're going to go across just closer and a little slower. And you can see the shine to it. And that's it. This airbrush atomizes it so finely that it's not really pushing the paint to make it run. Look at that. And because this is the booth we're going to use to show it, the lighting, can you see it? Excellent. Let's try it over a Gumpla piece. Again, let's blow off any dust. I can see some on it already. All right, let's see. Same technique. Just go across it a little bit. This is a great piece to show it off. It's got a lot of curves to it. All right, here we go. We're going to go in a little slow. Flip it around. And that's it. It is covered. I got to zoom in a little bit so it stays focused for you guys. But that looks great. All right, excellent. All right, let me put this aside. Not sure what else we should try it over. As I mentioned before, I do have these gray primed spoons. Let's see what we get with this. Maybe I can zoom in for you guys. Hold on. Maybe we'll focus on it better. Here we go. Let's try that. Oh, you know what? It's showing up a little bit. Look at that. And you can kind of see the wet coat I'm speaking of, too. Look at that. Oops, there we go. All right, we'll go over the colors in a minute. All right, let me clean this out. And I'll grab another color. All right, guys, next up, Color Shift Alien. Um, I get it zoomed in and focused, so it looks like there's a lot of clouds, but all of it actually gets absorbed. I think the camera picks up more of the cloud of <laughs> the paint than actually you would actually see in person. Well, there we go. Let's go ahead with uh, over the black spoon. Hold on. Let me make a clearance here. There we go. Clearing up my hose. This is one of the more interesting ones because it's absolutely almost clear. But these are great when they go on. Look at that. This one is just about done. Can you see how close we're getting? Oh, this is a beautiful. Look at that angle. Oh, wow, that's great. Wow, let's try it over a Gumpla piece. Hold on, guys. Same piece as the other one. Let's see what we get. You can see it changing right before your eyes. Look at this. Fantastic. That, look at that. Now, we'll go over it in a little bit. So the camera can stay focused. Boy, that looks great. All right, let's try it over the dark gray. You know, I'm kind of shocked that it's working. Because uh, some of these don't work at all. One of the dark blue ones I tested, you'll see later. It just, you can't see anything unless it was over black. 
this, you know, you're getting something that's fantastic looking. All right, here's an experiment. Let's try it over that purple, that Evangelion purple. Oh, I already see the blue reflection. Oh, these are great for certain kits, I'll tell you. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. All right, guys, let me uh, clean this out. Move on to another color. All right, guys, next up. Oops, there we go. Hey, extreme black hole. What if that's messing up the focus? Let's keep this out for one second. Let's see. All right, we're going to go ahead and glossy black spoon. Maybe this will focus better. Let's see. Oh, I switched over to the... Uh, PS270, GSI Creos, the Mr. Color. Well, this is pretty subtle. There it goes. Wow, look at that. Sure, the Mac valve is open. Beautiful, beautiful, subtle color. Oh, that is nice. I don't know about the color shifting, but the color in and of itself is great. All right, let me grab that gray. There we go. All right, here we go. Gray. Oh, this one's pretty subtle. It took a while to see it on the black, but it's going to take it forever to see it on the gray. So this one doesn't work well. Oh, you can see the reflection. If you just want a colored reflection, you will get that. See the purple? But it looks like it's got to be over black. This is one of those... Anything with these really dark purples and blues, it seems like it's got to go over black. I mean, you're going to get the color. It's pretty subtle. It's actually pretty nice looking. Wow. Well, let's try it over. Uh, let's try it over a Gumpla piece. Let's see if it works. This is a black cannon or something I had painted. All right, it looks. You, know, you can see the purple. All right, yeah, it's pretty cool looking. I don't know. This might look better on. Smaller pieces, more subtle, but it goes on nice. Can you see the purple? Yeah, it's pretty good. The paint doesn't run, it doesn't flood, it just goes on really good. Look at that. I'm trying to get the focus on it. There we go. That looks great. Again, really good looking colors. Now, I don't know if it's going to show up on anything, you know, other than blacks but uh, let's see how it looks over this blue it's an experiment let's experiment in real time this is from the spray can test the other day yeah it's really subtle guys nah, it's 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 almost not worth it it's got to go over really dark colors like the black I mean, you're going to get a purple reflection, but even then, it's got to be, the lighting has to be perfect, you know, but it's huge difference over black, so, all right, let me clean this out, we'll do the last color, then we'll go over all of them, all right, guys, last two, uh, oh, show on camera, chameleon, mauve purple orange, all right, again, we'll start off with the black. And, uh, oh, we're back to the evolution. I just realized I grabbed this airbrush. That's all right. We got to use both on camera. Here we go. Yeah, these lighter ones show up. Oh, yeah, this is really nice. It's already... <laughs> oh, look at that. This is already a, a, a... Yeah, these lighter ones seem to be much nicer as far as uh, color shifting goes, huh? I mean, look at it go on as, as we're sitting here. Look at that. 
Oh, it's awesome. All right. Let's try it over this gray. Here's the first coat. Can you see it? All right, we're going to go with the wet coat. Here we go. Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, you see it now. It has a ghosting look to it. It doesn't have an intense. It has a really subtle ghosting look to it. But you know what? It kind of works. But it seems like only these lighter ones work. Let's try it over this nice big shield here from the RX 78. I painted with the black um, uh, Tamiya. Black Tamiya in the spray can. It's already purple. Look. You know what, this will look cool if you just do the outline part. It's tough for me to see while I'm doing it on the camera. Here we go. Oh, this one. Oh, this one's fantastic. Can you see it? You get the whole gamut. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is the... It, yeah. Anyway, this is a winner right here. This is impressive. Impressive. It's only shaking because it's on this wire. But hey, you know what? We'll go over it in a second. All right. All right, guys. Let me clean this out. We're going to go over them. Some of these are really nice. All right, guys. Here we are. Still at the booth. And uh, the lighting above, the new lighting for the, uh, by the way, the new lighting for the booth um, kind of works better showing off these. So we're going to do them here instead of at the bench. And uh, starting off with the ones you guys hadn't seen me sprayed. Uh, live and uh, we'll see if it doesn't if it can focus on them uh, this is supernova extreme here we go we'll start off with how it should be the black this is the black spoon and watch when I tip it this is why I'm using this lighting look at that is that fantastic now I sprayed a flat piece so you guys can really see it ready No. <laughs> that's truly color shifting so look at that if you've got a very shiny base it's going to come out shiny this is a dull piece of black plastic so it comes out dull and then this is it over the dark gray big difference it comes out really subtle uh, not as shiny if you could see it in person but the same effect still comes through then I sprayed it over white and just all I got was the purple reflection and this is over a gray or silver plastic spoon. And it's just an extension of the dark gray. It's like light gray. So you're going to sort of get the, the you're going to still get the shifting, but it's going to be very subtle. But some people might want to look for that, particularly on joints, maybe, and knees and whatnot, if you don't want to make it all color shifting. Anyway, Supernova, very nice. All right, this is a chameleon, orange, yellow. All right, over the black first. Here we go. Oh, more subtle. Orange is here. Obviously, you guys can see that. Whereas the supernova is very prominent in its shifting. But because the orange is so close to yellow, I think that's what we're seeing. All right, this was over. I put this as over a light gray. See the gray? Just to guys show you. Just to show you guys. It, see, it, it just doesn't. Some colors don't work at all. Now I sprayed it over red and got this. Now, now you can see the glowing of the yellow. So it kind of worked over red, but it needs more of a dark base, obviously, because you're going to get that instead. And this is it over the black piece of plastic. Ready? I'm going to tip it and come up. So there's the orange, and there's the yellow. Uh, SMS, if you're watching, well, let me know the difference between Chameleon and Color Shift, unless this is the old name for it and these are the new name for it. Um, let me know. Uh, here's Eclipse, Extreme Eclipse. Over black first. Ready? Here we go. This is really extreme, but look at that. I mean, it's just like the image almost on the label. Can you see it? That is nice. This is over the dark gray. 
I sprayed it over this red. It didn't get much effect at all. Little subtle bits of, looks like yellow or orange or gold there, but nothing really. And then of course, here's the black strip I did. There we go. I'm gonna come up. There's the blue. Let's see what the three colors are here. Orange, red, and black. So I'm guessing there's your black. There's the orange, is there the red? And there's the red. So it works, it does it does its thing. Look at that. All right, moving on. Chameleon. This is green, white, purple. All right, over the black first. Look at this, baby. Look at that. Turns total green right there, look at that. I always want to do one of these for my uh, Dynamax. I'm still deciding what I'm going to do. But one angle, you want to see total green. That is fantastic. Look at that. All right, this was over. Uh, where's the dark gray? Here's the dark gray. Again, you can see it's very subtle. I don't know what I sprayed this over. Let's see. This is TS-100. This is I think this is gunmetal to me in the spray can. But very close to the gray. So here you go. Dark, medium, and light. How's that? This is over a purple. Light purple, basic purple. Look at this. This did nothing. So some colors, they're just not going to do its, its thing for it. I'm even going to toss that because that doesn't show me anything. Oh, and here it is over the black plastic. Here we go. Look at that. I'm so glad I got the, figured out that this lighting worked for you guys, so you guys can see it. Next up, Color Shift Extreme Abyss. This is, let's see, deep purple, blue, orange, and gold. This is four colors and a band. So let's see what we got here. That's, oh, there we go. All right, here's the dark purple. Deep purple. Sorry, uh, Richie Blackmore. Look at that. I do like this. This is really this is really dark, but the results are just beautiful. And this is over the gray. Everything else I tried, I couldn't see anything. So that's why I only have these two. The other ones just showed nothing on camera at all. So this really has to go over dark for sure. Very dark bases. And here's over the black plastic. Let's see if we can get some nice color in here. Here we go. Look at that. It even changes the further down I dip it. Nice, very nice. All right, let's see. Extreme Hyperspace, this is blue, aqua, and green. All right, where's the black one here? Here we go. Oh, that's nice. Look at the, the blue shows up as on the tip, on the tipping. Oh, that is nice. These are really nice, guys. Wow, that's great. This is over the gray. It even shows up somewhat here too. Look, it's just more subtle and you know very light, but you're still getting the effect. And I think this is over. Was this over a blue? This is over a green. I sprayed it over like a one of my mist greens from my uh, paint line, and I got nothing. So sometimes you're going to get absolutely nothing. This is over the black plastic ice spoons that I have. I want to show you that it kind of. You get a dull satin look over the bare plastic, which is kind of cool, actually. Let me show you the difference. See it? It's because of the plastic itself. It must have sucked it in a bit. It needs a. It does need a primer or a base, but the same same effect. Just dulled out. Well, I sprayed it over this metallic blue, and I didn't get anything. <laughs> Nothing at all. And, oh, here it is on the black strip. Ready? There we go. Look at that. And this is kind of purple here, if you could see it. It turns purple to a blue. Let me come up to the green. Isn't that awesome? Wow. I'm so glad this lighting has helped show you guys the results. All right, let me clear these out get the last one I did on camera, and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, cleared out those other ones. We got the last four here. I figured put the airbrush up that works best with it, and that's this Evolution from Harder and Steinbeck. Very good. 
This is the two in one. I got a point two and a point four millimeter needle with it. Uh, I've been using the point four mostly, and uh, it's working great. Anyway, oh, oh, let's see what we're doing first here. Color shift alien violet blue and green. All right, go with the black first. Here we go. Look at that. I like these. Now, a lot of them are very similar, so you don't have to grab the whole lineup. Get certain ones. There's certain ones that are, you know, you could tell a lot of the purples and whatnot. Just grab your favorite. This is, was this over? This is over the dark purple, Evangelion dark purple from Gaia. See it? So it still worked. It's just predominantly purple because that's the base. But wherever the light hits, you're getting the green. This was over the dark gray. So this one did its work. It did its job on all the ones I tested it on. Check out the Gumpla piece. Now that is awesome. So if this is standing on a shelf, your lighting is coming in with the purple. The front is green. Wherever the shadows are, look at that. I'm doing it from the distance because the lighting is perfect from over there, guys. And here it is on the square. Ready? Here we go. There we go. Fantastic. Really, really, really impressed by these. Extreme Black Hole. Oh, what are the colors? Royal Blue, Purple, and Orange. All right, here's the black. I don't see. Oh, there it is. I don't know where the Royal Blue is. I guess right here. And then it becomes more purple up here. There's the Royal Blue. This one's more subtle. It's more always looking like this on my end. Uh, let's try it over the... Yeah, it's just a purple shadow you're going to get over the gray. I sprayed it over this blue. This is from the spray can test I did the other day. This shows nothing. So that's a waste. Get that out of here. And this is over the Gumpla piece, which it shows mostly purple. But pretty nice, though. It is pretty nice. But... This one's a, it's it's dark. It is it is called black hole, but it doesn't look bad. It's got a nice subtle look to it. All right, getting towards the end here. Color shift lava. That's orange and yellow. Here we go. Oh, there's the yellow, I guess, and there's the orange. Yep. So this this one's strictly two colors, almost greenish. But this one does does its job. It looks really good. This is over the gray. Not as dark, obviously. Still does its job, though. Oh, right, here's the Gumpla piece. Let's hold it from the side like the other one. Let's see. It's definitely more subtle, but the orange is up here where the light isn't hitting it. See that? And because it sticks out, you're going to get the highlight there. There you go. And on the square. Ready? Here we go. And it turns orange right there. All right, we're at the end. Last one is Chameleon Mauve Purple Orange. I can you you can actually see it in the jar. The 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 changes are right there. Look. All right, over the black. You ready? Here we go. Oh, there it is. But like I said, you're gonna get the same similar results with other colors. Here's the purple, but it's got the blue instead of the yellow reflection or the orange. Look at that. This is over the gray. Very subtle over the gray, but still pretty cool. Let's check it out on this shield. Look at that. There you go. Oh, that's great. Oh, look at that. It looks like the piece is molded in this color right here. Look. Oh, that's, that's awesome. All right, and there it is over the square. Ready? Here we go. And there it is. This one's very extreme. I mean, that's a bright color to a dark right there. Beautiful. And there you go, guys. Really good paint. Out of the jar, into the Harder and Steinbeck, or the GSI, sprayed beautifully. 20 PSI or less. And uh, best results are over black, obviously. And uh, I use Tamiya spray can black for my base. But you can use uh, their own black, and uh, or I think you can use just about any glossy black base. You want it to be shiny to get these results. But uh, hey, 
Uh, I'm impressed. I would grab them. There's only two places as far as America goes I can get these, and that's from them in Australia. They ship very fast, and he's very reasonable in the shipping. Or uh, USA Gundam Store, they carry them to the only place in America, I believe, that carries these. But I'll put the links uh, in the description below, as well as the links to my uh, airbrushes that I use for the test. And um, that's it. There you go, guys. That's the rep. I like them. Now, coming up with these, let me show you something. Sorry, guys. My chair hit the... They have this pearl lineup I'm going to be testing. Spearmint green. A look at these. Pearl raspberry red. What do we have here? Deep blue pearl. Look at that. Then they have the crystal lineup. Crystal emerald. Crystal uh, topaz. That's yellow and gold. This is purple. Amethyst. So these are kind of color flipping a little bit anyway. But they have these crystals and these pearl colors. I have almost all of them, I think. So I want to do those soon, too. I want to show you guys those. And uh, that's it. There you go, guys. That is the test. Uh, I want you guys to have a great second half of your week as this is going up on a Wednesday. And I got a lot of tests coming up. I'm going to be doing the car body using the micro spray gun with real car paint. That's coming up very soon. And um, I'm going to let you guys know that I'm thinking of a Patreon. If you guys stood this long through the video, I think I'm going to go with a Patreon. And um, I might only have one tear, but with it, I'm thinking I'm going to do videos on, by request like... If you guys ask me, what does this look like sprayed over green? Or can I spray chrome over this blue? And I'll do that video for you personally is what I think is the way I'm going to go with the Patreon. And uh, that way I can cater to each individual question with its own little micro video. And um, I think I'm going to do that pretty soon. And uh, anyway, guys, thanks for sticking by. Uh, grab these paints. They are wonderful. I I'm glad I could show you how good the color shifting is with this lighting. And um, that's it. Have a great rest of your day. Stay cool. It's pretty warm here where I am. And uh, please, please, subscribe if you haven't already with the notification bell so you guys can know when more are coming up. In the next video, I'm going to be telling who won the last uh, model kit giveaway. And uh, another giveaway is coming up after that. So please like the video and leave a comment below. And subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to hit 50,000 with some really special giveaways very special giveaways once we hit 50,000. Anyway, guys, thanks for sticking around. I'm a little long-winded here. I do like these paints, though. And um, we will see you in the next video.